Welcome back. It's Tuesday, day 14, May 19th, and we're on page 27 and 28. Okay? Now, hopefully you participated yesterday because if you tried to make sense of the equations, we're basically done with everything we're going to do this month. The rest of the month is all about scenarios and actually finding the probability of things. We only have one concept left to study. And that's an easy one because it's when we don't replace the item. Okay, I think we need to make sure that we have our note page up to speed. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to splash up is the notes from early last week. We haven't really talked about the note page. So take a look at your note page. If you have to, pause and go find it. You should see things like the fundamental counting principle, right? Okay. Remember that page? All right. So if you have to pause the video, write some notes. If you have that note page, we're going to add to it today. All right. So there's only three things that we need to add to our note page. Okay. Let's start out with the video today. Today's video is a gentleman trying to pick cards out of a deck, okay? And I think some of you really got the idea of the cards. So on our note page, we're going to actually write this idea of the probability of A or B. Or. Or being the key term, <clears throat> okay? All right. So A or B. Now remember yesterday. The probability of drawing a five and the probability of getting the diamond. This was the key. Where does the five belong? It belongs on both. So we have the probability of a five, the probability of a diamond. We have to subtract the overlap. Okay, here was the example from yesterday. You see where the five of diamonds is the overlap? So when we have an or, we have extra math. Okay, take a moment and write that down on your note page. We'll be on page two now. My page is full on the first side. And if you have to, write the example down of the five of diamonds being the overlap. Okay. Second thing we want to add to our note page was the idea of this, the probability of B happening, given A has already happened, is the probability of B and A happening divided by the probability of B. And then I'm going to write a little note off to the side here. This slash mark, probability of B given a already occurred. All right? So the probability of something has happened given. Okay, the word given. All right. And then the last one, the most fun one of all, is dice. Okay? The word and. The probability of A and B. Okay? Probability of A and B. Now, with dice, if you remember, we threw dice, we played Yahtzee, what's the probability? And I showed this chart, okay? The chart shows two dice. I roll a dice, I get a five. I roll a dice, I get a one. What's the probability of both of these happening? When we have the word and... We just multiply 1 over 6, 1 over 6. The probability of it happening is 1 over 36. Okay? So, again, notes. Three items. The probability of this and this happening, just multiply them. Poof. The probability of 
this or this happening, we have to look for the overlap. With cards, it's easy to visualize. The five of diamonds, it's an overlap. We see it. Not all of the examples is it that obvious what the overlap is. All right? And then the idea of the probability of an event happening given something else already happened. All right? That finishes our notes. This is what my note page looks like now. If you have to, pause, because this is what's going to allow us to do all the other scenario problems, except for the donut page. You remember when I mailed you that envelope? One of the back pages was the donuts problem. We still got to do the donut problem. Every time you eat a donut, the probability of the next donut changes. That's the only thing left to learn. Oh, this is so cool. I'll see you in a minute where we do today's problems. All right, welcome back. Just three problems today, okay? We have the skills to do these. All we need to do, visualize the dice, multiply them together, poof, poof, done. Cards, there's an overlap. If we just remember those two concepts, the math is actually kind of easy. Here we go, okay? We're on page 27 and 28, and on page 27, the famous shell game problem. You ever watch that? Oof, where's the P? All right, the shell game problem. You have three shells, there's a P under one of them, you've got to guess the outcome. What's the probability of getting it right? It's three to one, right? You got three shells, the P's under one of them, what's the probability of getting the right answer? One-third. Okay? The first time they do it, the odds are three to one. Okay? One time out of every three, you're going to get the answer right. Okay? Now, keyword. Ding, 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 ding. Anytime you're doing a word problem, you have to look for the keyword. You want to win five in a row. If you want to win five in a row, what's the probability? Well, that's just like the dice. What's the probability of rolling snake eyes? One over six times one over six. Okay. What's the probability of winning five in a row? I always do a little subscript five. That's just me. One third times one third times one third times one third times one third. Just do it five times in a row. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. <laughs> 3 to the 5th power. <laughs> uh, let's grab our calculator here. Okay. And the answer is 243. The answer is 1 over 243. Okay. So the key is in a row. Just multiply it out, done, see you, bye. All right, let's go to number five. We've got to flip pages, and on page 28, number five, we have two boxes of balls, two boxes of balls. What is the probability that both marbles have stripes? Keyword, both. Keyword, both. Once they use the word both, all we're doing is multiplying, okay? So let's count them up first. There were 17 balls in the first one. Of those, seven had stripes, okay? So seven had stripes. That's seven over 17. You count them up in the second one, we get 18. Nine of them had stripes. Nine over 18. It would be neat if you simplify because the math, right? So 9 over 18 is 1 half. If you didn't simplify it, that's okay. Now, what's the probability that I pull out a stripe, pull out a stripe? Once you saw the word both, the probability that both had stripes is 7 over 17 times 9 over 18 
use the one half, simplifies the math, and we get 63 over 306, okay? You can simplify that, okay? Sixty-three over three o six. Whether you use a calculator to simplify it, right, convert to a fraction, or you do it by hand, seven over thirty-four. Okay. So, thinking back to our note page. Okay. The probability of A and B, just a multiplication. The probability of A and B, just a multiplication. Now let's step it up, okay? B number one, we're on page 28, B 21, okay? This is the card problem. You've got to find the overlap, okay? So we have, you randomly choose a block from each set. What is the probability that you choose a block labeled T or a block with a six, okay? The key word here is or. Once you find the key word, do the math, okay? So now, in this problem, you gotta count them up, okay? And in the T's, we have eight total blocks. One of them had a T, one over eight. In this box, we have eight blocks. Two of them had a six, so two over eight. Now we just do the math. The probability of A or B. Well, that's one over eight plus two over eight minus one over eight times two over eight. Just plug it into a calculator, okay? We know that one eighth and two eighths is three eighths. Multiply this and we get one times two is two. 8 times 8 is 64, okay? Don't like fractions, just type them into the calculator, use your parenthesis sign, okay? And when we simplify, we're going to get 11 over 32, okay? That's it for today's lesson. Again, the math may not look enjoyable, but the concept, I think you've got this concept. And multiply. Or look for the overlap. That's all there is to today's lesson. Just 20 minutes, 20 days, 20 lessons. Don't overdo it. Tomorrow, come on back for some more scenarios. And we're almost done with the month of May.